Hi everyone, um, welcome back to yoga. I'm going to give everyone a few seconds to get on here. We'll see if we can have anyone join us today. I know I'm on here a few minutes early. I just want to give everyone time to get on here, see me, and get situated. Again, we are going to use be using our chair today, and we're going to be doing some basic yoga poses. Um, so today, we're really just going to focus on getting our bodies moving. We're still going to try to relax, but I'm going to make you work a little bit harder today. Last week, we definitely focused on our breathing, which we're going to do this week, but I'm going to put in some more work poses and some more balance poses, and we are going to do some standing poses today. So we're going to start off in our chair, and then we're going to move to some standing poses and get working. Nice to see a few people joining us. Hi, everyone. Um, so let's see what time it is. We still got a few minutes. Oh, here's my friends, the stars of the shows. This is Mr. Ruger. If you aren't here with us this week, I'm actually kneeling on my yoga mat. They've been running around a lot today, so they might just come down and lay down in front of me, hopefully. Or they might try to do some yoga with me like they did last week. So who knows what will happen. Um, yep, there's the camera. He's still figuring out how um, web cameras work and what he looks like in web cameras. So that's always interesting. Um, so again, today we are here with Adaptive Part um, Sports Partners of the North Country. My name is Selena. I'm one of their volunteers. I'm down here in North Carolina, so I get to be a virtual volunteer in um, all this COVID-19 stay-at-home orders. We decided to partner up again because um, I've been missing my ASPNC family and I've been missing um, doing some yoga with you guys. And I get to share my little puppy dogs. Um, so again, we're going to be doing chair yoga and some adaptive yoga. You just need a chair um, and some space to stand beside of it. Nothing too fancy. Um, oh, there you go. Good thing. Um, and we'll get started in a moment. Let's see what... Hey, Nicole! Glad you could join us. Um, see if more people pop on here. Hey, you trying to play? Um, but... Uh, again, today we're doing some chair yoga. We are going to stand a little bit. I'm going to show some different modifications. Um, and I will like to say that we have edited so you can add subtitles to the video. Um, Nate and the team are going to edit it afterwards to clean it up so it looks better. Um, and it's going to function for if you're viewing the video after the live um, video is done. So it looks like we are almost at one, so I'm going to get in position. Are you going to do some yoga? Are you going to stay there? Here, you were working on that leaf wording. Okay. Um, let's see what the comments have. Uh, okay. So again, this is participate at your own risk. No, we're doing it in our homes. So that means we're not here, our volunteers aren't here, I'm not there to help you with your form. If at any point you feel pain or discomfort, immediately come out of the pose, stop, you can return to a seated position or any position that feels better. See, he's already getting into yoga, he's getting stretched out, and we'll see what he decides he's, what he's doing with his life in a minute. Um, let's see, let's make sure I covered our subtitles, we are putting subtitles on our videos. And then we're about to get started. So I'm going to give a few more moments. Let everyone join us. And y'all can see my dog's tail. Come here, bud. Come here. Um, Daisy's off napping somewhere else. They got to run around in the yard today while I was doing an out um, workout outside. So they're a little bit sleepier today than they were last week. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started today. Oh, that's a big comment. Let me check it out. Um, subtitles don't be appear working live, but we will add them afterwards. Um, that way, so when you're viewing it at home afterwards, if you want to do it again, the following the rest of the week, you'll have it there, and you can make sure you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. You ready, Ruger? Are you ready? Oh, yeah, you're ready. <laughs> Good job. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our breathing. Actually, let's start with our posture. 
our feet are grounded. Um, make sure you have a tall um, core, shoulders are down and away from our ears, and we're gonna get ready to try our breathing. Daisy decided to join us. All right, so last week, remember, we put our hand on our belly, and we breathe into our um, stomachs, draw that diaphragm down, inhaling and exhaling. Let's take a few deep breaths. I need, you, I need to refocus after my doggy distractions and getting started. It's always a little weird getting started with the Facebook Live. Let's do two more big breaths. I'm glad to see more people are joining us. Hope everyone has a good time today. One more big breath. All right. So today, I want you to think in your mind, I want you to set an intention. So it could be something you want to do today. It could be something that you are trying to stay positive about. It could be, so my intention, I like to set during the day is to do one thing that brings me joy. Um, so that means I could be working in my garden. I could be snuggling with my dogs. It could be taking a walk. Um, so just some intention. It could be playing with your kids taking a step back away from media to get um, some more positive inputs or anything that brings you comfort during the day. So let's go ahead and take a few more deep breaths and think about what that intention is going to be today. So let's go ahead and take a big inhale. Chest rising, breathing into our belly. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On our next inhale, let's bring our arms up. And our seated mountain pose. Exhale, let's do our forward fold. Again, leading with our heart and bending forward. Stay a few breaths here. Inhale, you'll feel that belly fall, press against your legs. Inhale, and exhale. Ruger decided he's gonna be a distraction. Let's go ahead and come back up. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Again, we are going to try to relax today, but I am going to have y'all do a little bit more work. Let's walk our hands down, whatever's comfortable for you. Inhaling and exhaling through your mouth. Come back up. We're going to do the side extensions that we did last week, so inhale both arms up. Nice and tall. Exhale our right arm down. Inhale. And then we're going to come over. I don't want y'all to collapse or fall to the side. We're coming straight up and then just a little bit over our heads. Inhaling. Inhaling to that side body. Do two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Exhale the arm down. And then we're going to do the other side. So let's go ahead and inhale both arms up. Exhale, our left hand down, and y'all straight up, and exhale. Y'all hold this pose. I'm going to explain why we aren't collapsing. So our spine has vertebrae that stack on top of each other. If we collapse and make our vertebrae bend, we either risk pinching something or having our vertebrae open enough that a disc could slip. So that's why we want to go, um, sorry, wrong hand, up. And just over a little bit. Breathing into that side body. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and release. Roll those shoulders out for me. Inhale up. Exhale back and down. Inhaling. Exhaling through your mouth. All right, let's go the opposite direction. Forward. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Let's do a few more shoulder rolls, and then we're done. So, again, like I said last week, we want to create um, space in our chest for our breathing and counteract all of those slumping and bad posture that we kind of fall into during the day. So now we're going to do some seated cat and cows. You know, um, in traditional yoga, yoga, you're on all fours, but we're going to do it seated. So place your hands on your knees. Um, it doesn't matter where, you'll find your rhythm, 
I'm in the middle of the breath. I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see what this looks like a little bit better. Ruber is being such a great helper today. Um, so you're going to inhale, chest is going to lift. You'll see that arch in my back. Exhale, we're going to round forward. Inhale, chest is lifted. Exhale, round forward. Let's go ahead and do these a few rounds. Inhale, and exhale. You see my hands move a little bit. It just naturally happens when you round and lift your chest. Go ahead and let that happen. You don't have to be stiff. It creates that movement, creates space. Let's do a few more. Inhale up, lifting, exhale, collapsing. Inhale, and exhale. I'm gonna fall, come forward for our next one. The next one, we're gonna start our work a little bit. This is gonna be a little bit of a shoulder exercise. It also helps with range of motion. So I want you guys to create a um, kind of a box or a field goal with your hands, palms facing forward. Then we're going to inhale up and create a U, exhale down, and create a W. So inhale up, exhale down, and you're going to try to pinch those shoulder blades together in the back. Inhale, exhale. This works on our range of motion, works on our shoulders. You know women, as we get older, we're at risk of freezing our shoulders, so these simple range of motion um, exercises can help prevent that and keep shoulder mobility going. So let's do two more. Inhale up, exhale down. You might be feeling it, especially if you're pinching those shoulders together in the back. Inhale, exhale. Good job, guys. Um, sorry, I inter um, put some new things in our um, sequence today, so I'm making sure I'm staying on point for you guys and so we can work together on this. Okay, so now this is where we get to stand up stuff. So everyone stand up. I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're doing. I'm going to show you a lot of modifications, so bear with me. We're going to first work on chair, uh, not chair, um, tree pose. So tree pose has a lot of different um, variation so we're going to go ahead and kick off with one. This is called our kickstand. This is what we use for our balance. We don't come up. Our heel goes against our ankle and we can stay right here, hands at heart center. If you're feeling good at this, um, we can step it up a notch and bring our foot to our calf and then our chairs here to help us find stability. That's, what, that's why chairs are great. If they provide support and then if we are still looking for more of a challenge, we can step it up again to bring our foot up into our thigh. And then you can find heart center or you can find the chair. Notice I said that we go either from our calf or to our thigh. We do not put our feet on our knee. Our knee is meant to go straight up and down and putting sideways or putting pressure on the side is bad for it. So I'm going to go ahead and find my calf because that's what I'm feeling today. Go ahead and release it, shake it out. We build tension in our leg. And then we're going to try it again. Practice makes perfect, guys. Inhale. Find that um, spot that's comfortable for you. And then if you're feeling strong, if you're feeling powerful, you can inhale, bring our arms to the sky. But I'm going to come down here. I'm feeling like I need support today. Inhale. So keep that breath going. Remember, go ahead and release. The more oxygen we bring into our body, the better our brain functions and the better our body functions. I'm going to come to the other side of the chair and we're going to do the other side of our body. So find our chair pose. It can be your kickstand. Miss Daisy, can you move just a little bit from this way? Thank you. Um, you can find your kickstand, your calf, or your thigh, but no in between. And you can have hands at heart center, you can be lifted, or you can have that chair for support. I like having the chair for support. Never hurts to have a little extra help. Inhale, and exhale. That's what ASPNC is all about. We find that little extra support to help us be successful in our community and in our equipment. So that's what we're here for today. Go ahead and shake that out. We're going to do it one more time. 
inhale, find that balance. Balance engages our core, engages our leg muscles. We're working this quad right here. So it's important. It helps us with skiing, it helps us with yoga, it helps us with kayaking, it helps us in everything that we do. So shake it up. And then we're going to do some more work and some modified chair poses. Sorry guys, can y'all go play somewhere else? So we're going to start in our uh, mountain, which, sorry, camera angle's a little off. Um, we're going to inhale, and then we're going to exhale, and we're just going to pretend like we're sitting in our chair. So it's a modified chair pose, and we're going to pause, and then we're going to sit. So that was easy enough. So we're going to stand back up. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to pause, and then we're going to sit down. So, in traditional yoga class, our chair pose, we sink down into it and we stay here. That takes a lot of leg muscles, takes a lot of balance. So this is how we modify it. We inhale and we exhale and then it's your level challenge. So you could go straight down and work on grounding and standing and engage those core and practice that um, good body movement. Or if you're feeling really um, challenged, or one of the really big challenge, you can inhale up, exhale down, and stay in your chair, or your imaginary chair, so you're using those muscles, inhale your arms up, bring them down, and sit back down. You notice when I was doing it, I was protecting my spine, I was keeping a nice flat back, and I wasn't um, up on my toes or having my knees out over my toes. We got to protect our joints. <clears throat> Then we're going to stay standing, shake those legs out, I know we made them work, take a deep breath, inhale, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, exhale, come back down. Okay, so we're going to do another fun pose today. It's a balancing, it's building our leg muscle, and we're using our chair, because that's the goal for today. Finding out different ways we can use our chair to help us in our yoga practice, to help us build strength and build balance. We're gonna do what we call um, a half moon. So a traditional half moon in yoga is you can start in your um, tree pose, you rotate, and then we go into this great big balance pose where we're extended. But that's difficult. It takes muscle, it takes strength. It's something we should strive for but we have our chair here to support us and to make it um, at our level, which is like every yoga practice should be at our level. So take your chair, um, arm distance apart. You can tell I have a slight bend in my back. Find that back of the chair. Inhale. Prepare your, we're going to kick our left leg back first. So prepare that right leg, ground it. Inhale. Start lifting that left leg. So if this is where we're at, I want you to stay right here. We're protecting all of our joints. We're supporting ourselves with our chair. And then we're going to let it back down. That puts tension in our right quad. It causes our core and it engages our glutes. So we're working. So on our next inhale, we're going to try it again with that same leg. Inhale. If you're feeling more of a challenge, you can come down and try to create that flat line. Exhale, bring it down, shake it out, and then we're going to go to the other side. So I'm trying to make my space work. Alright, so shake it out one more time. This time we're grounding on our left leg and kicking our right leg back. So again, let's inhale, bring that right leg up. If this is our point of challenge for today, that's what it is. This is for me. Let's release it. Shake it out. Keep breathing. This is hard work. Something different, but we're going to try it for today. Inhale. Find that comfort zone. Sending that heel back. Gauging that quad. All right, go ahead and release. Did you notice the difference between your right and left side? I know I did. I lift, 
leg was shaky as all get out because I'm tired today. And then we are going to do actually a modified downward dog. Sorry, I kept changing things when I was writing this and I really want to make sure I keep the sequencing correct. So go ahead and take a big inhale. And we're just going to go ahead into a forward fold. Again, leading with your heart. And we're going to stop kind of halfway. You can um, rest your hands on your legs. We're not trying to get to the floor right now. That's not necessary. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale, sink down. Go ahead and lift all the way up on that inhale. Stretch it nice and tall. There we go. So this is going to be a modified down dog. I'm going to show you two different variations. One is going to look like a forward fold. So we're going to be over, um, a little bit over an arm's distance away. So we have to kind of lean for it. And then we're going to walk our feet out just a little bit more. So you can see I'm nice and stretched out. And then we're going to go into our modified, this is our modified down dog with using the back of our chair. So, Let's bend our knees a little bit. We're keeping our shoulders engaged. We're not letting them collapse. This puts your shoulder um, joint at risk. So we want to stay almost in a straight line. Inhaling. Exhaling. You can see I'm rising and falling with my inhales and exhales. Play around with it. If this is more comfortable for you, that's great. If you can come out a little bit farther and become a flat on line, that's great. We're sending our hips out and back. All right, come back up. I'm going to show you a different variation. It's up to you. You can try it out. Or you can stay with what we were just doing. We find the front of our chair and the back of our chair. And as you can see, I'm more bent. I'm going to walk my feet out. And I'm going to go into more of a forward fold. This resembles more of our traditional downward dog but it's still keeping our shoulders engaged. Inhale, rising, exhale, falling. Again, we're protecting our shoulders um, and not collapsing. We're keeping them engaged and keeping a flat line in our body. Inhale, exhale. All right, come back up out of it. All right, let's shake it out. That takes work. Downward dog takes work. It's not a relaxation pose. It engages our shoulders. It stretches our hamstrings. So I want you to find the down dog version that was comfortable for you. So I'm going to stay with the lower position because I need to stretch my hamstrings today. And we're going to go into downward dog for a few more breaths. So inhale, rise, and then exhale. Let's sink into that downward dog a little bit. Again, um, keeping our shoulder gate, our shoulder blades back and connected to our body. I know that's weird, but just don't let them slide out and round your back. So keep your um, back nice and flat. Inhale up, exhale back down. Inhale and exhale. Check in with your legs and see if you're holding tension. If you're flat, if you have your um, legs straight back out, bend them out a little bit. We want Good blood flow. Inhale, exhale. Come on, walk your feet up and come up slowly. All right. How are you guys feeling? Hope you're feeling good. I know I'm feeling good. And then we're going to go into a simple quad stretch. Um, so we're really going to be using that chair for support. I'm going to start on my left side and come back up. Just grab whatever's comfortable for you. I grab the inside. You can grab your toes, um, or you could grab your ankle. And then one thing I like to stress is we're not pulling our foot out to the side. We want it as much um, up straight up and down as we can. Again, we're protecting those joints. All right. Go ahead and release it. We're going to do it one more time on that side. We're going to drop some anatomy on you guys right now. So go ahead and go back up into that quad stretch. Um, so in, you guys keep holding it. I'm going to drop some anatomy. In our muscle fibers, our muscle fibers link, where can you see? Link together like if you put your fingers together. And when you stretch them, they come apart, and then they contract to protect themselves. So that's the initial part of our stretch. 
So to get a good stretch, we need to hold it for 30 seconds and it allows them to relax and really stretch the muscle. So when you're stretching, hold it for 30 seconds, you'll get a better stretch. And that's because our muscles initially squeeze together to protect them because they think they're going to tear and then they relax because they realize they're not at risk. Go ahead and exhale down, release it, shake it out. Man, I already feel a difference between my right and left side. We're going to go to the other side. So I'm doing my right leg. Hey, buddy. And go ahead and find that toe, that, oh, sorry, friend, ankle, inside or outside, whichever is more comfortable. And again, um, our leg is up and down uh, and not out to our side as much as we can. If we need a modification, there's always modifications. Um, I should have showed this to you before, but we can put our leg up on our chair and we can sink down into it, creates that same angle we were going for to create that quad stretch. So if you're exceptionally tight, this might be a good option for you. Go ahead and release it. I'm making you guys work today, aren't I? Inhale. Exhale, come back up into it on that next inhale. You're doing a great job today, guys. All right, exhale, shake it out. How are our legs feeling? We put some work in, we built some tension, and now we're gonna help release that. So we did this last week. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go into our figure four stretch, right ankle to left knee. Our foot is flexed, our knee is as flat as we can get it, and um, we are supporting where we need support. And we're just gonna find what we need. So last week I introduced the baby pose where we hold our baby. You can do that if you want to. I don't need it today. This is good enough after my workout this morning. So we're going to inhale, exhale, forward fold. We're going to stay here for a few moments again. Like I said, holding it for longer allows those muscles to relax and for us to get a better stretch. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to draw our attention back to that intention we set earlier today. Let's go ahead and think about that. Inhale up, exhale, release it. How are we feeling? Does it feel good? Let's go to the other leg. Inhale, foot is flexed, exhale. So let's contemplate our um, intention. Maybe we didn't think of one. This is a good point in our sequence to go ahead and bring one to mind. Whether it's taking a walk, spending time with our family, giving our family a call, um, or FaceTime or Facebook Live, learning something new, anything and everything, whatever you want to go ahead and get up, release, wiggle it out, and we're going to do the other side again. Uh, this is one of my favorite poses ever. Sorry if my dogs are being loud, they're in the kitchen playing around. And now lean with our hearts down. Can you feel your belly rising and falling against your thighs? I hope so. Keep that good belly breathing going. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and release. Let's go to our other side. Keep that intention in your, in your mind. Like I said, for me, it's to do one thing every day that brings joy to me. So I'm going to be thinking, what brings me joy? What can I do today? What can have me look forward to doing something today? Whatever brings me joy. Inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and release that. And then now we're going to do a little bit more work to work on our core. Because I'm telling you, if we keep these core strong, it's going to make us better athletes. We're going to be better bikers. We're going to be better kayakers, better climbers, better skiers. So many things are connected to our core. So last week we did a bent leg raise, which was a modified boat. Now we're gonna do a um, straight leg leg extension. We're gonna start with, um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna start with my left side because that's the side you guys can see. Go ahead and find the side of your chair. It's gonna help you find support. You can find the back because this will be able to help you find that lift. And then we're just gonna straighten that leg out. 
and we're going to hold it there. Remember, we're breathing, always breathing. Go ahead and release it. Ooh, that felt interesting. I don't know about you guys. Our chest is lifted. Inhale. Exhale, we're keeping breathing. We do something simple, it would be so hard. Alright, we're going to do one more with that left leg. Go ahead and inhale up. I paused because I wasn't ready for it. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that other side now. We did it three times on the left. We're going to do it three times on the right. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's go for it. Inhale. You're going to feel it in your quad. And you're engaging your lower, lip, your, um, lower abs to pull that muscle up. All right, go ahead and inhale, lift it up, exhale, bring it down. Oh, welcome back. We got one more. He's gonna help me out, maybe. Oh, no. Inhale. Oh, thank you, River. Thank you. Oh, no. Good job, boy. All right, go ahead and release that down. You think they would help me out more, but apparently not. Um, they don't want to be foot rest right now. So go ahead and inhale. Exhale, forward fold. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Body tails everywhere. Again, we're leading with our hearts, our chest are lifted. Do I smell things? Um, see, I thought they'd be tired, but they're not. Go ahead and inhale back up. Um, let's do some neck rolls. We're starting to relax. So drop your chin to your chest. Roll back and forth, releasing that tension, releasing all that stress we've been building up. Let's do two more. Inhaling through our nose, exhaling through our mouth. Don't lose contact with that breathing, guys. Okay, do some shoulder rolls. We're going to go back to those cat and cows. So inhale, chest is lifted. Exhale, roll forward. Let your hands slide forward. Inhale up. Connect back to that breath after the work we've done. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Whoop. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Sorry, guys. Okay, now inhale, forward fold, and then we're going to find our ragdoll, one of my personal favorites. So as far as you can go, just let yourself go. Our shoulders can round, you do, your chest doesn't have to be lifted, and then we're going to clasp our elbows, and we're going to rock back and forth. This releases tension in our back. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. It's harder to breathe because we have less room. Keep breathing through that nose. Exhale. All right, let's rag down. Drop our hands as far down as we can and just let it all fall forward, rounding our shoulders. And then we're slowly, slowly going to start coming up. You can walk your hands up or you can just roll that back all the way up. Okay. Okay, we've done some work, we've built tension, we've let it go, we've connected to our breath, and now it's time to do our final relaxation. It's going to be a little bit different than this week, it's going to follow the lines of a normal Shavasana or um, final relaxation. So find a comfortable position, scoot back in your chair, lean back onto that backrest, and if it's comfortable for you to drop your um, chin and close your eyes, then go for it. Again, you can find whatever position is comfortable for your hands. Go ahead and close those eyes and bring your thoughts back to your breath. Inhaling, exhaling, feeling that belly rise and fall. All right, we set our intention early in our practice. And we're going to continue focusing on that intention. Inhale, exhale. What brings you joy? What are you going to get done today? 
and what is possible from day to day. Inhale, stay connected to that breath. Stay connected to that feeling. I personally pick to do something that brings me joy every day because it reminds me that I have control to do something that makes me happy every day, even though if that day is hard, if it's unpredictable, if I do one thing that brings me joy, I have control over one element. It doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be active, it can be calling your mom, it can be cuddling with our dogs, it can be taking a walk. Inhale, exhale. Slowly relaxing, feeling that breath, feeling the oxygen enter our bodies. Inhale, exhale. Focus on that intention. If you feel your mind wandering, just bring it back and connect it to that breath. Inhale. And exhale. We might be feeling different than when we started our practice today. We were awesome and set 30 minutes out of our day to do something different, to connect to our bodies, to do something that improves us. So do a few more inhales and deep exhales, bringing oxygen into our bodies. On our next inhale, start wiggling those toes, wiggling those fingers, and come back to this present moment, keeping us together today, connecting and loving each other. Slowly bring your eyes open, lift your head, and keep those deep breaths flowing. All right. That was our yoga class today. Um, as I said, my intention every day is to do something that brings me joy. And guess what? I just completed that and um, that intention. I got to connect to people I truly care about, people that truly inspire me, and I got to teach yoga, something I love. And that's something that brings me joy each and every day and why I'm so excited to be doing this series with you guys. I will be here next week at 1 o'clock next week, one o'clock, and I do have something different that we're going to try. So if you have a yoga strap at home, pull out that yoga strap. If not, I want you to get a bath towel for next week. Set it aside. We're going to be using that bath towel for some new and different stretches. Again, we're going to be in our chair. Um, we might incorporate some standing poses, but it's basically going to be that chair and your towel or your strap that we're going to be using. So it's going to be different. It's going to be new. And I want you guys to stay connected to the ASPNC Facebook page because they are posting new things. You've seen new events get um, scheduled for different lives, different things are happening. Um, so I want you to stay connected. Uh, it's always great to see what's happening and see our friends pop up in our chats and in our um, videos. So please um, stay connected with us. I'll be here again next week at one o'clock. We will be doing something with a chair and a towel, so bring a towel or a strap, and it's going to be so fun. Um, again, next week, 1 o'clock, and I would really love some feedback. If you guys have a favorite pose that we've done that you'd like me to keep doing, or um, whatever, if you want to see more of the standing poses, or more of the seated poses, just let me know. Leave it in the comments. I want this to be helpful for you guys. So please, let me know what you want to do, something different, something new, just whatever you guys want. Um, and with that, I want to get a big heart center and a namaste, because the light within me honors the light within you. And I can't wait to see you all again next week. So have a great day, and keep working on those intentions. Try something new. Learn something new. Take a walk. Spend some time with the lovely puppies that have been here all day today. So, thank you.